Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menegarza. I was searching around on the web and I found an uh, unusual website. Uh, they were selling Chinese-made uh, RVs, recreational vehicles. A lot of them were uh, travel trailers. Some were even uh, motorhomes. And you can buy them. Uh, they'll build them in China and ship them to you here in the good old United States or around the world, of course. So I was very <laughs> intrigued by this, and I thought I'd share some examples with you. Uh, not necessarily that I would order one at any time, but they are pretty inexpensive. And they're, you know, how things are in the United States. It used to be that uh, certain products were made in the United States, and now where are they made? They're in China. Right now, the RV manufacturers are having a lot of issues uh, assembling their units because what? A lot of their products, a lot of their parts are made in where? In China. So don't discount the idea of RVs from China ever coming to the United States of America, okay? So let's start right here on this page. They have various RVs, uh, varied in price from 19000 right here to and $250 to $27,500. It's all a matter what size you, uh, I mean, what, how many you want to get. Do you want to get one or ten? So here's one right here, a compact aluminum uh, tank trailer. Uh, recreational vehicle, that's an unusual word for a tank trailer. They even have this guy here yammering incessantly about it. And uh, it goes for anywhere between th $3,600 to $7,800. He's shown right here on the video all the different uh, parameters. So again, they come in all kinds of sizes and configurations. Let's go back here. They even have a little mini Airstream. It has a little air, air conditioning unit on top. It's nicely polished. It looks like it has an aluminum frame. Very nice. It's called a Yigoli, not a jig, gigolo. It's called Yigoli uh, Traction, whatever that means, recreational vehicle, off-road caravan uh, trailer camping. Let's take a peek at that one real quick. And here's the Yigoli. And uh, you can buy one estimated time. It takes about 15 days and they show the video. Nice little interior that I actually like it quite a bit. And it looks pretty sharp. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, made right, and there is a nice little sink. And it goes for, if you buy 10 plus units, 25 grand, or just one unit, $26,000. Maybe you're an entrepreneur, you, maybe you can set up a little showroom here in uh, Fort Worth, New York, uh, Atlanta, uh, Minneapolis, uh, San Francisco, Denver, and have a, a Yigoli, and you can have one example, you say, hey, we can order them for you. We're the exclusive dealership in the United States. Yeah, you can start a business model, and of course, eventually, yeah, all the American dealerships uh, that are selling American brands will say, hey, that's too cheap. <laughs> we can't compete. So there's a little video you can watch. And if you want to find this, uh, just go to Alibaba, that's A-L-I-B-A-B-A -A -A com, and enter recreational vehicles, and you'll find a ton of these uh, by different uh, you know, folks here and I mean there in China. So you got pop-ups, you got uh, you know the smaller uh, teardrop style, you can buy one for five to seven thousand bucks, that's not bad. They have this nice one here called the Zhu Jian Zhu Traction Recreational Vehicle Off-Road Caravan. So here we are. And there it is, there's a view of that one, and there's another view, there's another view. Oh, and there's another view, it has a different color, very nice. And you can have all kinds of options. And this one goes for 15000 for one. You can buy one for $15,800. Right now, prices are inflated at a lot of the RV dealerships due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And everybody's uh, motivated to buy a travel trailer. And they're, you know, they're paying a premium. Instead of just getting your usual 30% off, 25% off, you're lucky to get 15 or 20% off. So maybe a Chinese recreational vehicle is in the stars. For you. Here's the parameters. Uh, rubber and torsion bar uh, axle. Uh, just sort of like a, a very nice uh, setup. It has solar possibilities. So I just want to, maybe I'll show one more just to, just for this video. Let me click this off. Of course they have this one and that one and that one and that one. This, this is the one I found very interesting. Very interesting. It's a, uh, it's called RV Recreational Vehicle. That's pretty straightforward, huh? RV no vehicle. You could buy it between 19 and 23,000 bucks. And here's some of the parameters. And look at it. it. Looks very nice. It's a nice little small, you know, RV. I like it. You can park it anywhere you want. 
and it comes in different colors. Look at that. It's called a Maisu Wishi, whatever it's called. I'm terrible at pronunciation. It has three beds. You can put six passengers in it, and uh, who knows what kind of engine it has. And there's a side view. Yeah, you can park this anywhere. And they have other ones. Look at it. It has even a, you know, you can load it from the back. and has a little kitchen on the outside. You have different configurations. Very nice. I made it up. I'm going to add. Look, one more. This is the one I wanted to see. This one right here caught my eye. Forty-five to 55000 bucks for a recreational vehicle. Very nice. In fact, I'll get two. What? You know, let me, look at that. Comes in white, comes in yellow, different colors. Very nice. And look at the interior. I was actually quite impressed. And uh, look at that. That looks pretty nice right there. I really like how it looks. I can see myself as long as everything uh, doesn't fall apart immediately uh, to buy one of these. I'd like to have one. Looks like it's well sculpted. They know what they're doing in China, making it with fiberglass. Look at that. All kinds of great stuff. And, uh, and you can order these things from Alibaba. Look at the interior. Very nice. You got the nice uh, patterns here, nice woods. You got a refrigerator in there, etc. You step up and you get into the bed. And you got a mattress that hopefully is thicker than two inches. And you got a TV and all that sort of stuff. Look at they even show people side views. You know, very nice. So you got a bathroom, double bed, sofa, another sofa, another sofa, a, and a door, and the kitchen system. Uh, the kitchenette. So, so this has been Asus Manuel Menagarza. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you have the time, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash JMM Garza. Thank you very much. And don't forget to leave your kind and super friendly comments regarding these Chinese, these Chinese made recreational vehicles. I actually like some of them. I would like to see one in, in person, see what, how, what they feel like. Uh, you know, not everything is going to be made in Indiana at Elkhart. You know, some are going to be made in Shanghai, Wanshu, and uh, some of these other, you know, uh, communities that are like 10 million people per community. You know, it's very nice. I look forward to seeing one in a dealership. Uh, some entrepreneur out there is going to say, yeah, I'm going to set up a little dealership here and show, have a little showroom and you can order one and I'll be more than happy to order them. In fact, I'll fix them and I'll have extra parts and I'll start like, uh, you know, 10 dealerships around across the United States. Hey, why not? Why not? Try it out. So this has again been Jesus Manuel Managarza from Fort Worth, Texas. Not from China. I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.